Rafael Cuenca here with DepthTap.com. Here we are with uh, uh, acclaimed artist uh, Martin Shu. So Martin, uh, how are you enjoying yourself at the convention? It's been great so far. It's actually my first time here at Anah Anaheim Comic Con. And uh, it's a different crowd. But, um, you know, it's been awesome meeting folks in the OC. You know, meeting new fans, making new friends. And that's kind of what these conventions are all about. Everyone that's been to San Diego would know it's a little hard to talk to the artists that you want to talk to. Um, how did you uh, get into the uh, uh, animating world? Cool. Um, so I studied animation uh, at Cal State Fullerton. And then right off college, I was uh, lucky enough to be doing some character art for this t-shirt company. I started working at Nickelodeon on a preschool show. One of the directors recruited me to Disney TV animation. And I just got off uh, this fantastic show called Fish Hooks. Right now, I'm trying to do, kind of do my own thing, focus on my own art, uh, do some gallery shows. Ultimately, that's what drives you. It's your own stuff. Could you name any names or name any comics or movies even that would you say were your early influences? One of the biggest influences that I, um, I absolutely love is uh, Hayao Miyazaki and, and I even made a, you know, a club to be honest I've always sort of seen myself as more of a Miyazaki club fan than, um, than a Mickey Mouse club fan so uh, I would say he's my biggest influence I love kids and animals so you probably find all of that sort of more cartoony um, lightheartedness stuff that will make you laugh and make you giggle a little bit like the Miyazaki club which is kind of goofy and quirky that's kind of stuff I love and can you talk to, uh, to us about any uh, current uh, work that you're working on right now well, I just got off Fish Hooks, and uh, I have an art show coming up in Chicago at the NMA. Uh, it's a two-man show, and uh, it's going to be a body of uh, maybe 20 paintings that I'm doing um, of these sort of hybrid monsters. And then uh, I have an art show coming up in October at Giant Robot in LA. And uh, I have a couple of brands I want to develop, and uh, maybe you know just get on licensing a little bit, develop some products. And uh, do you have any advice? or uh, tips for a young up-and-coming artist? Well, I think what's really important is uh, to get a really strong foundation of art, you know, live drawing, all that good stuff you're learning in school. Uh, but I think also what's important on top of that is uh, to keep in mind to do some soul searching. You know, to really think about what inspires you and what drives you, you know, what you have to say about your art. Um, it's a great thing to work in the entertainment industry, but I think it's also really important to, on the side, to do your own thing, explore your own ideas. Uh, just keep going, uh, you know, one day you'll get there.